Hi guys, and I'm back with my first review of the year, which is 2020. Uh, this one is a Backman Loco, and this one is the Midland Railway uh, 1377 class, or the uh, LMS 1F. Uh, this is like the Batman one, I got it from Kernog uh, in their bargain page, and I think it was like £64, and I've been told that's a good price. Here is some model information on the 1F, the LMS 1F. In 4mm or double O gauge, Backman do a half cab and a full cab version as early as 2013. MPD brass kits also do a kit uh, which is a half, ca um, half cab kit. Also um, in double O, Falcon do a brass kit as well, which I think they do both variants, the full and half cab. Uh, Alan Gibson also does a breast kit in double O, which is a half, cast, uh, half cab one. And finally, to finish off in 7mm or O gauge, there is a kit by Mechanics Models, um, which is brass and nickel kit. And this one is a half cab. So we'll start with the detail pack that comes with it and in this you get hooks, uh, chain link couplings as well I think some more detail packs you get a shovel, you also get the green thing which is tarpaulin style thing that goes on the end of the cab Very nice touch there by Backman So first off we start with the front of the locomotive uh, We have spring buffers at the front and the back as well We also have a hole for the chain link uh, coupling and hook Three or four lamp irons at the um, front, and above that we have one on this, above the um, smoke box door. We also have a number, which is uh, 41803. Uh, we have a shed code as well, which I believe is the only one that I could find in the history. We also have the small tension up couplings. Uh, we have handrails as well. Basic stuff from Backman here, and you've got to see a toolbox as well. As we move on to the side of the locomotive, uh, just here we have a toolbox there. We have the brake rigging down the bottom here. We have two lots of front steps which is molded to the shell as well. We have the power classification there just on the side of the cab. We have the plain British writing for the British Railways. You can see the safety valve and the whistles. Uh, we have a dome and a chimney which is all molded I believe. We have a handrail over here too. Um, and we have sandbox and the sand irons down here. As we move on to the other side of the locomotive, you will notice the um, toolbox has gone near the, the splashes there. We have the plain black writing. We have the plain black BR number, which is 41803. We have a hand, uh, coal rail around the coal. We also have the builder's plate, just there below the number. We have the classification there too. We have handrails there and there, same on the other side as well it's a pretty nice loco there by Backman as we look into the cap you can see the glazing, you can see everything's painted, lovely painted you can also see a wood floor finish as well, hopefully I bring a picture up uh, also seen the coal and the coal rail and the hooks where you glue on the tarpaulin that's green in the pack as well as we move on to the back of the locomotive we have the spung buffers again uh, just there we also have some of the cab details, some of the um, cream cab interior. We also can see the glazing as well, and a bit more of the coal. We have four lamp irons, three along here and one there. We also have the water, I think, or the coal amount you can allow there on the plaque. We also have the hole for the coupling and hook. Here is the top of the locomotive as we look down on it. You can see where you fill the water up on the tanks, you can also see the whistles and safety valves as well. You can also see where the green strip goes for the detail bag, and you also get a look into the coal as well. It's very detailed for a black locomotive. And finally we move on to the underside of the locomotive or the model. We have pickups on all of the six wheels, which is not a surprise by Backman. We also have the net, uh, tension lock couplings and the NEM pockets too. We have the brake rigging already applied from the outside. So yeah guys, that's it on the tracks. 
Uh, next up will be the points test. So it's got short wheel base, but it's got pickups, so it might struggle on the points. Um, there won't be any second. You can see it's on the second radius now. So we'll get on with the points test. Not bad. Managed that pretty well, the points test. Um, not bad for DC Loco. Um, so next up will be some uh, slow speed and single running and then we'll wind it a friend. Okay, not bad, it probably can do slower. Hi guys, yeah, that's the um, end of the running session. Uh, just going to give my opinion before I do. Um, I would like to apologise if the uh, video is not as good as the others. Um, it's been a few months since I've recorded anything. Um, so I'm really out of practice. Um, so yeah, we had the 1F by Backman in the um, 
British Railway livery there, pretty plain but nice. Uh, his running partner was the Hornby weathered version 8F. Uh, this number was 48062. And then we had in the shed, as you see them here, two smaller locomotives. We have the Rapid J70, and then we have the Hornby um, Class 21 uh, Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway, I believe. And um, just behind them both there, we have the limited edition um, Princess Royal um, in trying black, and this is Princess Elizabeth. Um, it was a limited edition to celebrate 50 years of the catalog, I believe. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get back to my opinions on this. It's a nice locomotive, well detailed. As you can see, it's lovely detailed by Backman as usual. Um, I have one slight issue with it. Uh, I think it's a little bit noisy, but people have asked, I've said it's not, or it could be. Um, that's an issue with it. Um, overall, it was a great price, um, £64 from Kernog, like I said, it's a uh, can't really grumble at that, that's quite a decent price in their bargains page. Um, I'm not sponsored by them at all, it's, uh, I just look at occasionally out on the bargain pages of the shops, see what's um, around and available. don't know if they still have, or at one point they had a J50, £55. Uh, two versions available at one point, might still be there. Um, that's a bargain in itself, but... Oh, they got a J50. Would I recommend a 1F? Yeah, I think I would. Um, open or closed cab version. Um, like Batman do make a great Ginty class. Uh, I know it sounds generic, but they do. Uh, slightly, well, a lot better than Hornby. Uh, Hornbys need to be retooled. Uh, very much so. Uh, same with the 8F. I think that needs retooling, and so does the 21. Um, but it's just, just my opinion. Um, uh, now my mate Oliver has done a, uh, he's got one and it's in the National Cardboard livery. I will put his video either during the video or at the end card. Um, same with people who have subscribed to me, I'll put their video in the end card, um, in one person in the end card as well. Um, so yeah. And that's it from me. Uh, until next time, um, it's goodbye from these beauties and it's goodbye from me. Bye.